Alrighty, so uh, this is going to be every Sun Moon and as well rising a, a weekly love and relationship tarot reading January 6th to uh, January 12th, 2020. And in case guys you want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, <clears throat> you can check out the description uh, down below in which you are going to find a link to my website and uh, from there you can... Uh, you can choose a, a purchase of favor or a, a service of favor. So that being said, moving into the spread straight away. Um, the first card, which represents the topic of your uh, week, Aries, in terms of love and relationship, that is going to be the uh, Nine of Swords. Followed by the next one here, which stands for the energies that are supporting the topic and the team. We do have the Hierophant. Afterwards, it is the challenges that you will have to overcome and stand against throughout the week. That is going to be the Ten of Wands. Followed by the fourth card here, which represents the gifts and the blessings uh, that you can enjoy throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. And it's, uh, it's pretty good uh, for what it seems from those four cards. Then uh, it is... Um, no less important position here, which is how people are taking on you. What I mean is that how, how people are seeing you. Your person of interest, a partner, a husband or a wife, you know, friends and family. That is to be the page of swords. Followed by the next one uh, that represents uh, what you can, uh, what is going to help your long-term goal. Or in other words, what you can do to... Uh, proceed forward to push forward your long-term love and relationship goal that is going to be the four of swords then the seventh card here it is what is going to hurt uh your long-term love and relationship goal that is the six of pentacles and the last one it is uh, the um, guidance that taro is offering to you in term of love and relationship we do have the five of cups so um it's pretty good one uh because with those two cards so we do have the energies and then we do have the topic and uh these two cards are representing uh, are representing the seriousness into diving more deeper into one's interactions or into one's relationship now why we do have the nine of swords though into the topic and the theme of the week it is because you are to kind of understand the full uh, oppression of what follows next you know certain rules that are going to take place that you have to be more serious about it that you have to be more devoted about it that is going to eat more time on your behalf and etc etc and some of you Aries may not kind of part with their portion of a freedom lightly but the energies here which are the hierophant it does represent the uh Moving into the next step, into the evolution on one's interaction and on one's relationship, therefore, uh, stepping into the next milestone, it does require one to give more from themselves as you have to give more. So your person of interest, you know, so your partner, so your life, so your wife, so your husband and so on and so forth. Now, important thing here to be acknowledged with those couple of cards as well. It is that there are going to be more trust than usual in between you and the person you want to be with or the person that you are with and uh, with this you know certain uh, remnants from the past could be evoked um, a certain you know actions that you may have taken back in the days that were not exactly you know fair let's say or certain actions that the other person have taken that are again not exactly fair and those kind of a uh, ghost from the past uh, from the past may hunt either of you uh, or hound either of you i don't know which word to use hunt hound yeah it's it's hunting so hound either of you and uh, that could put one or the other into more milder position therefore to be agreed on you know 
above the, the threshold, to be agreed on certain things that go beyond the threshold. But nonetheless, with those, uh, with those two cards, it does look like that uh, you and that person uh, who stands against you in terms of love and relationship are to find yourself more aware of what it takes, you know, to be together and to move forward together and to grow together uh, as well. So that leads us to the next one here. Oh, one more thing about these two cards. Now with the energies, where that whole situation is pushing you toward. Well, with those two cards, that particular situation is pushing you toward understanding what kind of love uh, this situation or this relationship is requiring from you. And either you have it or you don't. I, there is no other way around it. And you are going to understand that throughout this week, January 6th to January 12th, 2020. So the next one, it is the challenges that you need to overcome here. We do have the 10 of wands. So 10 of wands in terms of love and relationship is all about, you know, maintaining control. Uh, over the interactions and over the relationship as well. But not because it's going to be tough for you to maintain control, but because of the things you have to accomplish in order to maintain control. So you have to take it as a, a certain game that needs to be played here. And that game has a rules and it's going to be challenging for you to move forward with the rules, not bending them nor breaking them, okay? And uh, at certain points, you know, you may want to reshape the whole thing. So the more you try to deviate from the established path, from the established concept, from the established, you know, rules and agreements, stipulations that you and that person agreed with, you know, your person of interest, your new person of interest, or, you know, your partner, the more control you're going to lose over uh, the situation. So the next card, it is about the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. And with the justice, that is about the balance. You know, everybody kind of is going to take care of their own responsibilities. So you're not going to feel like you are carrying on someone, okay, or that you are doing more than is needed, that you have to traverse the, uh, the distance for both of you, but rather you traverse your part, they traverse their part as well. But the thing with the justice as well is that there is some sort of a uh, coldness, you know, that what I mean, it is that despite you like or dislike something, nonetheless, you are, you are going to feel kind of like obliged to do it because that is essential part of certain interactions or of certain relationship. And therefore, we go to the to the second card of the reading, which is about the trust, that exactly it is what is going to boost the trust in your marriage, you know, in your relationship or in your interaction as well. So it's a pretty big one, guys. It's a pretty big, big week where you are going to finally, I would say, answer that kind of a question. Is it worth going on forward with this one or should I uh, move on and focus on something uh, different. So the other card here, it is how people see you, how your friends and family sees you, how your person of interest sees you, you know, how your wife or partner sees you, husband and so on and so forth. So we do have the page of swords and um, as an individual, which is you in that particular case, this card points that people see you as someone ready to clean up the, um, not the noxious habits, but the old ways. I would say it that way, the old ways. The, the Page of Swords, it's kind of represents new original thinking, new original source of not exactly ideas, but points of views. And uh, people were going to see you as a person capable to adapt capable to change, capable to realign as a person who still yet what to, uh, but what, who still has yet what to offer to the relationship, to the interaction and etc, etc. But as well, we're going to see you as a, uh, someone who once again likes to bend uh, arguments, 
okay and uh, that kind of comes to the third card correlates with the third card where you are gonna like to cut some corners instead of following the rules and therefore losing a, a grip over the situation overall so that being said it will be best you know if you kind of like stick to the uh to the original agreement if that makes sense so the other card here is what you can uh, what you can do in order to further your long-term love and relationship goal or what is going to help your long-term love and relationship goal. That is going to be the Four of Swords. So Four of Swords is all about talks. It's all about these deep, profound, meaningful conversations with the um, substantial person for the relationship. That being said, your wife, your husband, you know, your person of interest as well, uh, your partner, nothing else matters. All comes to that, you know, what kind of uh, thing or what kind of deal you're going to strike in between one another because as much one relationship is about love, it is also a about a mutual agreement. What you are going to agree as a responsibility is into a certain, um, into certain situations and into certain relationship. Additionally to that, this card as well urges you to try to identify your true emotions and your true feelings. Do you really love that person or is it that not just a yearning or a passion? It's very, very important that you do kind of reach a, a certain conclusion on that or a, uh, you, you are capable to answer that particular question to yourself. And once again, by um, talking about it, by seeking information about it, um, this particular question is going to be answered. You are going to answer it for yourself. Another thing with this card is that if you are already established, what I mean is that uh, you have a family now, you know, children, um, wife or a husband, and you pretty much love each other, but there is uh, a rough times that you are going through right now. Now, this card urges you to go into couples, therapists, uh, you know, shrink or so, so on and so forth. In other words, seek on a, a professional help. The other card here, it is what uh, is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. So, couple of things. Now, first one is try to uh, use... Uh, how do you say how do you say it in English? It is like a errand boy. It is like say something to someone so that person can um, say it to the uh, to your person of interest or to your partner. Say you know you like someone, and instead of confronting them and saying them I like you, you ask your friend to do it for you. So that is something that is gonna hurt your long term love and relationship go and another thing it is that is going to hurt your love uh, and relationship lo long term love and relationship go is ignoring everything it is kind of like you know it's a big week because you have to identify your emotions and you try to ignore that milestone thinking or not even thinking but hoping you know that everything is going to become clear eventually that someone else have to do uh, will will have to do the uh, the heavy lifting here say you know you are in a relationship which you don't love the person you are with but you hope that they're gonna leave you instead you leaving them it's kind of like something like this and the final card here it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you Aries we do have the five of cups I pretty much uh, it's uh, it's like that's a uh, it's about mistakes made, all right? That a forgiveness at the end of the day could serve better than just, you know, being ignorant and being stubborn, if you will. The Five of Cups, it is about that sometimes when you lose something, okay, actually you gain something else. And uh, that card as a guidance pointing that whatever, um, you know, uh, disappointments or losses you are to face in terms of love and relationship throughout this week, if you face any, that is, because that is not going to be true for every uh, single Aries throughout the week, there are to be trifles, therefore, in reality, you know, you haven't lost anything substantial. So, if your person of interest doesn't want to be with you, that is a loss, but according to that card, it is not a substantial one. So, in other words, they weren't worth it. So that being said, Aries, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, 
once again if you do want to get in touch with, with me you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website and uh, we're gonna see each other around until then bye